Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Heather, I'm the Bent Yogi. This is Friday Power Flow, and today we're gonna to work on transitions. So, transition onto your mat, and come on into your downward facing dog. All right, so coming onto your mat, coming into your downward dog, setting your foundation. This is a transition, right? As you come as you come onto your mat, as you come into your body and come into your breath and hopefully come out of all that stuff that you have going on in your head that we all have going on in our head. Oh, here comes my little dog. <laughs> you guys can't see her. She's too low. Take a deep breath in here and a long breath out. Work with your drishti, set your gaze, or close your eyes. So sometimes it works, and for some people it works, to set your gaze and really see where you are. That helps you to transition onto your mat and into this moment. Sometimes for other people it works better to close your eyes so you can feel, feel where you are and feel that you are in this moment. So whether you're working with eyes open or eyes closed, you're supporting yourself in this transition onto your mat, into this moment. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. And take a really big inhale and a big exhale. Go ahead and bring your knees down to your mat. Come on into your tabletop. Set your hands under your shoulders. Spread your fingers really wide. Here, extend your right arm forward, lifted. Extend your left leg, lifted back behind you. Feel if you can even out your shoulders, even out your hips. Draw your low belly in and up. And from your center, extend out. Pay attention to your left shoulder. So you're lifting out of your left shoulder. Take a deep breath in here. Switch it up. Left hand, arm extends forward. Right leg, right foot extends back behind you. So it's not just the hand. It's not just the foot, right? You're extending through your arm to the hand, to the tips of your fingers. You're extending out through your leg to your foot. You can press your heel back or point your toes. And all of this, all of this length, this ability to extend comes from your core. So draw your low belly in and up. Take a big inhale. Come on back to your tabletop and come back to your downward facing dog. Transition back to your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Another big inhale here. And as you exhale, step or jump to the front of your mat. Set your feet, soften your knees, and rise to stand. Come on up. Reach your hands up. Lift your heart. Look up. Go back. A big inhale. Hands to your heart. Exhale. Set your gaze. Lower your gaze or close your eyes. Together, let's take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Inhale. Sweep your hand side. Reach up. Fold forward, exhale. Find your halfway lift your flat back and take a couple of breaths here. This is a transition in our sun salutations that I feel like gets overlooked a lot. So stay here, breathe here. Grounded through your feet, your toes are soft. You can bring the weight of your body a little more forward into the balls of your feet and really feel for lifting your chest, lengthening your spine. Check in with your core, engage your core here. Take a deep breath in, fold forward, exhale. Inhale, rise to stand, lift and reach. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, flat back, one breath, long spine, hands to your mat, step back, high push up, forward and halfway down, low push up. Now pause in your low push up so you're not rushing it. You can drop your knees or come all the way down. Take a big breath in, upward facing dog. Exhale, back to your downward dog or your child's pose. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Take another big inhale here. Exhale. Step or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Rise to stand. Lift and reach. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale. Forward. Halfway down. That little pause. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Pause here. Breathe here. Spread your fingers wide. 
lead with your heart. You can work with a cobra or a low cobra. Take a big breath in. Exhale back to your downward facing dog. Take a long breath in. And a long breath out. A big inhale. And a big exhale. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale. Walk or jump forward. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Inhale all the way up to stand. Fill up. Reach up. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale. You can step or jump back. Inhale. Upward dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Set your hands and set your feet. Set your gaze. Set a foundation in your downward dog so you're supporting yourself, but set a foundation for your practice so you're supporting yourself. If you are off in your head somewhere, if you are stuck somewhere in your day or in your week, bring yourself back here. Use your breath. Use your body, this practice, to transition into being right here, right now. Take another big breath in here. Exhale, step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up to stand, rise and reach. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. A big breath in. And a long breath out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Another deep inhale here. Exhale. Walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Come on up to stand. Rise up. Reach up. Here, keep your right hand lifted. Left hand comes by your side. Set up for your dancer, the Tarajasana. Bend your left knee. Catch your left foot back behind you, the big toe side or the baby toe side of the foot. So if you're going for the big toe side, pay attention to how you position your hand, your arm. Spin your thumb back behind you. So the inside of your elbow is facing the left side. And then you can catch the big toe side of the foot. You can go for the baby toe side of the foot if it's more accessible. And whatever you're working with, pull your knee into your center line. And from here, start to lift up and back. Now maybe you've already transitioned into your dancer. Pay attention. Pay attention to your standing foot, your standing leg. Pay attention to your breath. Pay attention to your thinking mind. So if you get distracted, you can come back. Now as you lift the left foot, lift your chest, lift your heart, lift your right arm, and even lift your gaze. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Left foot comes down. Left hand goes high. Set it up on the other side. Set your left foot. Catch the big toe or baby toe side of your right foot with your right hand. And you can come right into it, right? You don't have to, you don't have to get distracted. You don't have to get sidetracked. You can come right into it. But pay attention to your foundation. That helps a lot in the transition. Your standing foot, your standing leg, your breath, your drishti, all of these are part of your foundation, your intention. Lifting that right foot, but also lifting the left arm and your chest, your heart. It's a standing back bend. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, right foot down beside the left. Sweep your hands up. Reach up. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit down. Feet can be together or apart here. Soften your shoulders. Take a big inhale. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale. Inhale. Upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot steps forward, warrior one, back foot flat. Come on up, set your feet, bend into your front knee. Lift up out of your hips. You can reach your hands higher, work with your hands at your heart. Take a big inhale, exhale. Hands come down to your mat, high push up to low push up. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale. Left foot steps forward, warrior one. How you transition into your warrior one? Is it one step? Is it a couple of steps? Let it work for you. And then, now that you're in your warrior one, feel this. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, hands come down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. 
Take another big inhale here. Exhale, step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, sit down, lift up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Right foot steps, warrior one, back foot flat, rise up. Exhale, hands come to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left foot steps forward. Warrior one, reach up. Exhale, hands come back to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot again, warrior one, come up. Open out to your warrior two. Just a breath or two here. Lengthening your stance. Lengthening your spine, lengthening your arms, right out to the tips of your fingers. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Spin your palms to the sky. Take your right hand high, reverse your warrior. Reach up and go back. Not a lot of weight on your left hand. You can play around with where you put your left hand. Take a big inhale here. Exhale. Hands come down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog. Inhale, downward dog, exhale, left foot steps forward, warrior one, now you're warrior two. And it might be a similar transition on this side from warrior one to warrior two. Might be a little bit different. Part of transitioning into this moment, maybe less comparison of this side to the other side. Spin your palms to the sky, left hand high, reverse your warrior, reach up and go back. Definitely feeling this side, two feet on your mat. Definitely feeling this breath. Take a big inhale, exhale, hands come down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in here and a long breath out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Once more, full inhale, exhale, walk or jump forward. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Utkatasana. Sit down, lift up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Right foot steps, warrior one, rise up, open out warrior two. Right hand high, reverse your warrior, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Push off with your back foot, reach for the ground, or for a block, a water bottle with your right hand. Right, that transition from warrior two to half moon, this transition. There's that moment where the back foot lifts and the right hand hasn't made contact with the ground yet. Really use your standing foot. Take your time with the transition. You can transition your gaze up towards your lifted hand here. Same thing, really slowly, take your time with it. Press out through your lifted heel, stack your shoulders. Take your flying foot a little higher, a big inhale. Left foot down beside the right, rise up, reach up, lift up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale. Downward dog, left foot steps forward, warrior one, come up, open out, warrior two. Left hand high reverse, half moon. So now you know what to expect, or do you, right? We think we know what to expect. Allow yourself to be fully present. Maybe let yourself be surprised by what you can do when you are fully present fully in your body. Left leg is engaged. Press out through your right heel. You can lighten up a bit on that left hand. And then here again, start to transition your gaze up towards the sky. Take your time walking your eyes up. Maybe you catch a peek at that lifted hand. Take your flying foot a little higher here. A big inhale. As you exhale, right foot down beside the left. Rise up. Reach up. Lift up. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale. 
downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Come down to your tabletop, your hands and knees. Set your hands under your shoulders, knees under hips. Right arm extends lifted forward. Left leg extends lifted back behind you. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, elbow and knee touch under you. So squeeze in and lift out of your shoulder. Inhale, extend out, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze in, belly draws in and up. Inhale, extend and lengthen. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, extend and lengthen. Now you can stay here or bend that back knee. Reach your right hand back, catch the foot, and press your foot up and back. So a little like that dancer, a different foundation, but this same action or similar action of opening your chest and pressing the back foot up and back. Breathing, take a big inhale and a big exhale. One more deep breath in here. As you exhale, extend the arm, extend the leg, pause. Really feel your low belly drawing and up. Lift out of your left shoulder. Hand and knee come down. Switch sides. Left arm lifted forward. Right leg lifted back behind you. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Elbow and knee touch under you. Squeeze and lift out of the shoulder. Inhale. Extend out. Lengthen. Exhale. Squeeze in. Belly in and up. Inhale. Extend out and lengthen. Exhale, squeeze in, lift here. Inhale, extend out, you can stay here, or bend that back knee, hand reaches back. Sometimes this is the trickiest part, the transition. Reaching back to find the foot, because you can't see it. Stay grounded through your right hand. Lift out of your right shoulder. If you're holding the foot, go ahead, press it up and back. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Now you don't have to force the foot up and back, but feel. Feel your foot in your hand. Take a big inhale. Arm extends forward. Leg extends back. Hold here. And maybe just a little more lift with that back leg. Take a big inhale. Come on back to your tabletop. Downward dog or child's pose. If you want to stick in a couple of cat cows, go for it. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Take a big inhale, and a big exhale. Once more, deep breath in here, fill up, exhale, walk or jump forward. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, take a big breath in, downward dog, breath out. Right foot steps, crescent lunge. Rise up, right foot is a little to your right, bring your hands to your heart. Take a big inhale, twist to your right, left elbow towards the outside of your right thigh. Lengthen through your spine, lengthen through your back leg. Hands can stay together here, or you can open up. Left hand reaching for the ground, right arm reaching up for the sky. Keep pressing your left heel back. Feel if you can lift through the back of your left knee. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. On your next inhale, come up and around to your warrior two. Spin your back foot flat. Take your right hand high, reverse your warrior. Side angle, Parsva Konasana. You can land your right elbow on your thigh, slide your right hand down. Left arm extends up. And from here, you can transition into your extension, or your half bind, or your full bind. Notice if you've decided in your head what you're going to do. Transition into your body in this breath and feel. Feel what works right here, right now. Take a big inhale, and a big exhale. Inhale, reach your top arm back up, look down, half moon. Set your right hand in front and a little to your right of your baby toe and then lift off, push off. So a different transition into your half moon. Taking the bend out of the right knee and straightening the leg. Now you can stay here. This transition, you might bend your left knee, reach that lifted hand to catch the foot. 
to press the foot back behind you. Let that top shoulder roll back. So it's like a dancer on its side. And again, the trickiest piece, or one of the tricky pieces, is finding that lifted foot with your hand. Gaze can go up, shoulder rolls back. Take a really big inhale. Whoa, release. Left foot down beside the right. Rise to stand. Nice work. Reach up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, a big breath in, downward dog, breath out. Left foot steps forward, crescent lunge, rise up. Left foot is a little to your left, bring your hands to your heart, a big inhale. Twist to your left, right elbow towards the outside of your left thigh. You're coming into this twist, you're transitioning into this twist, but feel where you are. So if the elbow doesn't come to the outside of the leg, if it lands above the leg, that's okay. Hands can stay together or they can open up. And your right hand can be on the outside of the left leg. Your right hand can be under your right shoulder. You're working with where you are. You're still moving towards where you want to be. But at the same time, enjoying where you are. On your next inhale, come up and around to your warrior two. So it's balance, right? Take your left hand high, reverse your warrior. Side angle, Parsva Konasana. Moving towards your goal in a pose or in your life. You can stay here. You can add in the extension. You can work with your half or full bind. Moving towards where you want to be, but not overlooking where you are, not missing out on where you are, right? That's so much what a transition is, feeling that moment when maybe you're a little uncertain. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. Reach your top arm up, left hand in front to the left of your baby toe, half moon. That moment where you lift off, that moment of uncertainty, you're not entirely sure what's going to happen but you have your foundation, you have support that you've created, you have support that's being given to you. You can stay here or go ahead, bend that lifted knee, start to find the foot with your hand and roll that top shoulder back. You can press the foot behind you on your mat in your life, it is, it's your foundation. The earth supporting you, you supporting yourself, people supporting you when you're in transition and taking it one breath at a time. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, release and come on into your forward fold, right foot down beside the left, rise to stand, lift up, reach up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, a big breath in, downward dog, breath out. Take a really big inhale and a big exhale. Another deep breath in here. Exhale. Walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Rise to stand. Lift up. Reach up. Right hand stays lifted. Left hand by your side. Dancer. Bend your left knee. Catch the foot here. Go for the baby toe side of your left foot. Come into your dancer, press the foot up and back. Now we're going to transition into that bound half moon. So go from lifting your chest, lifting up, to starting to tip forward. Letting your right hand reach down. Take your time with this. Right hand can land on the ground. A block or a water bottle is nice. I'm a little wobbly, and that's okay. If you fall out of it, you fall out of it. You come back to it. Once the right hand makes contact, now you can start to roll that left shoulder, left hip back. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. From here, drop the hip back down. Let's come back up to Dancer. Nice. Lift the foot a little higher. You can switch the hand hold. Lift your heart. Take a big inhale. Gently release. Left foot comes down. Left hand goes high. Set it up on the other side. <clears throat> Left foot is your standing foot. Catch the baby toe side of your right foot. That will help in the transition to the bound half moon. Now start to lift the foot. And as you lift the foot, go ahead, let your chest and your left hand start to tip forward. Left hand to the ground 
or bring the ground up to you and then start to roll open to the right. So it's funny because usually I'm much more stable standing in my right leg, but for some reason, the transition from dancer to bound half moon was easier on my left, steadier on my left. From here, let that hip start to roll down and bring yourself back up to your dancer. Take your time. If you come out of it, you can reset. No big deal. Just like I did. You can switch the handhold, bringing the hand to the big toe side of the foot. Go ahead, lift up, lift your chest, lift your heart. Take a big inhale. Now, right foot down beside the left. Really nice. Inhale, sweep up, reach up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth, empty it out. <sighs> Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, step or jump your feet through your hands, sit down, lie down, come onto your back, set up for your bridge or your wheel. So you just did that, that back bending in dancer. You can come up for a bridge, you can come up for a wheel, set your foundation. As you lift up, feel that it's physical, but it can also be energetic. And for me, that's what so much of the practice is. It's an energetic lift up. Whatever you're feeling when you get on your mat, whatever I'm feeling when I get on my mat, the transition of coming into my practice and into the present moment always helps me to feel better. I hope it helps you Feel better too. Take a big inhale here and come down. Lie on your back. Soles of your feet together, knees to the side. Supta Baddha Konasana, a big breath in. And a long breath out. Once more here, breathe in. And breathe out. Draw your knees to your chest, give them a squeeze. Set your left foot flat on your mat, right foot across your left thigh. It's your half pigeon variation. And you can set up a traditional half pigeon if you like. You can keep the left foot flat or lift the left leg. And use your hands to draw the legs in towards you. And just a couple of deep breaths here. One breath at a time. Maybe you're already thinking about the transition from your practice back into your day. It's okay if that's the case though. Come back. Take a deep breath in here. And a long breath out. Gently release this side. Draw your knees in. And set it up on the other side. Right foot flat, left foot across the right thigh. Again, the option for your traditional half pigeon. Right foot can stay flat, or you can lift the leg using your hands to draw your legs and towards you at the same time, letting that left knee come away from you. Often we rush transitions because there is a lot of uncertainty, especially when we're off our mats and in our lives. In our practice, we rush transitions because, oh, they're challenging, they're awkward. You can pay attention to the transitions, pose to pose in your practice, and use that as a tool to help you be present more often. Be present for more of your life. Here, Release your legs, give your knees a squeeze, any last poses or adjustments that you like. And set up your Shavasana. And on the one hand, this is a pose that helps us transition from our practice back to our life. On the other hand, this is a pose, this is a, a moment in our practice and in our life. So allow yourself to be here for this. Take a deep breath in. 
a long breath out. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Transitioning back into your physical body here. Drawing your knees to your chest. Roll to one side and slowly make your way to seated. Bring your hands to your heart. Set your gaze. Lower your gaze or close your eyes. Together, let's take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Drawing your thumbs to your forehead, to your third eye center. Together we say, Namaste. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for practicing with me today. I hope this practice makes the transition into the rest of your day and any challenges that you might face in your day Hope this practice makes it a little simpler, brings you a little more ease. I'm Heather, I'm the Vent Yogi. Thanks for practicing with me today. If you enjoyed it, subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends. Most important, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you on your mat. Uh...